Hey, everybody, welcome back to Evan and Luigi. Luigi brought our sit down here, stepping into our third game playthrough of our study. Uh, uh, I know what the entire study is. Sign out. Just up. You love it. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every I personally building all these buildings So let's go ahead and other question. After you can see that. So, anyway. Again, from the Arab and It's
big things down. It's smaller. I'm not. As I said, things could have changed that we decided. Uh, no one do that for Oh, what I think I'm you the There's that board of well, I was also realizing there's this description. Well, it's 100 million years. Not this. It's just. I don't know if that's. Wherever I get a kid. Wherever I am. For the chances of it having to do it. That's all. That's good. I like to I'm just still trying to more do I think it is that is a reaction here to five hours Eight. Oh. It's an eye. 
And normally that's what I Anyway, back to the eight six four that's six. Six. This is a it's got a yeah. 
That's kind of why I'm, I'm using um, as a Oh, no. Really 
All right, so we're there. From this level to here, so this would be Yeah, those are you know, uh, okay. uh, basically it's you know, indirect um, expired by All right, so enter and I don't know. Or I may be thinking of it. Again. Yeah. 
All right, so it's going to be on the five column, two, and different blocks. All right. <laughs>
Okay. All right, sorry about that. I needed to get uh, something to drink, and I wanted to check on a couple rules real quick. Um, so when I was firing the indirect artillery just now, oops, uh, indirect uh, uh, the mortar at this hex, um, there I was kind of right and kind of wrong about uh, indirect artillery uh, on a building. Yes, it was the plus three to hit because of the mason building, uh, but the only way that there would have been a dice roll modifier, and it's actually not a dice roll modifier, would have halved the artillery fire is had they been in full cover, which something you can do when you set up. Uh, and honestly, in hindsight and retrospect, should have probably put everybody into, uh, into full cover uh, before I started this. But we didn't know where the half tracks were going to come on. And we needed to be out of full cover uh, to be able to potentially fire at the half tracks. So, had they been in full cover, they would have only been at a half firepower, which would have made the effect no effect. Uh, plus, it was hit with a C3 casualty or higher of high indirect high explosive, which could have rebelled the building. But it takes a dice roll minus the modif the casual the casual it takes a dice roll against the casualties of the stack suffered minus the mo terrain modifier so any high any chance of rubbling in a mason building is an automatic minus three on the dice roll so you need to get at least a c4 uh, casualty in a mason building before you have a chance of rubbling. didn't happen only got a c3 so there's no chance of rubbling it uh, but it does switch over to the uh Israel or the Egyptian side, and you know what? <laughs> Something I also had to check. Also, yeah, I got my RPGs inside the building. It's not the best place to be fire an RPG. I can fire an RPG from inside the building. I just take immediately take two casualty steps, which will eliminate the unit. Yeah, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful about that. Um, these guys over here, we don't want to drop into full cover because they're probably going to be firing at the salting half tracks here very soon but you know what these guys up here in this plus 10 they are actually going to boogie down they are going to take their movement boogie down to ground level and whoops they're going to be on ground can I drop them into full cover? I don't think I can drop them. Can I move into full cover? You know, I was just checking that about dropping into full cover, but not moving into full cover. 12, 5, 6, 6. Ah, you'd think I actually knew how to play. All right, dropping into full cover. Full cover setup. Indirect. Okay. Grenade and direct firing from full cover setup and a full cover. Units using crawling movement when dropping into full. Okay, so I don't think I can move into full cover yet, but it's fine. They're they're good. We'll just keep them. Oh, no, we'll just leave the move markers on there for. Uh, and mark them as moved. Oops. Yeah, we'll have that crawl. Uh, let's see. So that's the Egyptian turn. Back over to the Israelis. Go ahead and move the tanks up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Um, we're going to nominate this one. We're going to go uh, assault movement. So it's going to be one, two, three. 
and he is going to stop and he is going to fire at that building right there those units right there the or uh egyptians here don't have any anti-tank and is against the wall so we can see over the wall to shoot into it so probably not going to hit but we're going to try anyway it's an a-class weapon all right two hexes and we did nine we assault moved, so that's going to bring it down to a four, and they're in a building, which is going to bring it down to a one. Oh, four, that's a miss, but we're also going to fire the machine guns. And I should have checked the coax and bow if they can fire as well, or the coax one is fired. At the same time. Oh, actually, you know what? The bow can't fire over a wall. I don't think the coax can fire at the same time as the machine. I will have to check that though. So that just leaves the anti aircraft machine gun, which is a six assault moving. It's have to three. Uh, so we're on the two column at plus three. Seven, that's a nothing. All right. So nothing with that. But not like there's anything the Egyptians can do. We have to. Need to think about trying to do something with those RPG crews. <coughs> that way too far back. I didn't want to put them too far forward. Then they just get sniped at from long. They have to wait for the uh, Israeli tanks to get into the city before the village, hamlet, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so there's that. These guys. I drop into full cover, but I'll lose the... Actually, they're not going to get really that much of a chance. Ah, dropping into full cover won't really help because even if they're in full cover, they can HPT web, but it will be at half frag if they do that. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and crawl those guys into uh, full cover because I don't think the half tracks are going to be coming this way. I think the half tracks are going to be coming this way. Crawl him. Their full cover marker on here. Full cover. Yep, so full cover marker right there. Uh, so they're down in full cover. So the machine guns aren't going to be able to affect them. X away. Uh, but in, and if the main gun hits, it's going to get half frag power now that they're in full cover. Conversely, they can't fire at anything unless they're one, unless the target's at a range of one, or they come out of full. So that's the Egyptians. Now back over to the Israelis. Got to get the flail tank up. Now they can only be moving uh, assault move to be able to use the flail on fixed positions. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to have to stop there because it costs one movement point in the hex that I'm in to be able to use the flail. So I can move into it, but I wouldn't be able to do anything. So I'm not into it yet. There's that. Now. I could assault move. Him to. Even if I'm there, I'm not going to have a site there. Yeah, no, the, I think the. Uh, I think the Egyptians are going to pass again over to the Israelis. Cross cut or assault movement one, two, three. So two, we're going to stay back. We want to, we want the flail unit to, to basically dig our way through first. So that's going to be, and yeah, no Egyptian response. Flips over to the Israelis. One. Basically, I'm going to turn a vertex, three, four, turn a vertex back, five, six. Okay. Comfortable with that. Is there any targets I can shoot at? Uh, no. All line of sight is still blocked. Back over to the Egyptians. Again, playing a passive game of hurry up and wait, not doing anything. So back to the Israelis, and we'll just this stuff out of the way first. We're going to crawl him up. Or 
called. Yeah, I should be marking these guys. Alt moves just because we know what they're doing. Uh, that'll give them that location. Sometimes the problem with these really big maps, especially when I like them having zoomed in so close, <laughs> to lose where everything is since they're all spread out. That's gonna clone well, a couple times. That's gonna go there. Egyptians not doing anything because they're waiting on salt to come. These guys will crawl up. And they're kind of safe because the only thing that really could have could have affected them is that uh, meaty machine gun, but we broke the crew, so it's not like they're gonna be. And these guys will crawl up as well. Control marker. Ah. There we go. And these guys will crawl up as well. Went. Oh, I think I know why, because it's got the control there. Hmm. Huh, so that's odd. That hero counter, I can't bring up any of the movement, or I can use up bring up visibility, but movement or combat tabs won't. Uh, Scott, take a look at that. Our resident vassal expert for ETS. Um, okay, so there's all that. Trucks aren't going to move. Again, Egyptians have got nothing to do except for armored assault, so they're not moving. So now we're going to move with the armored assault. Let's see what kind of. Uh, what do we want? A couple of bazookas, a machine gun, another bazooka. All right, well, let's start off with him. Oh, that's there. 14 and 7. Okay, now counting out beforehand. Yes. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go with cross country move. Uh, uh, because there's no need for me to. At least with this way, I can still potentially fire. So one, two. Long as moving through another hex <laughs> with a vehicle, I don't think it does. Fairly certain it doesn't. I may be just confused. I don't know where that one, two, three, four. four, five. Okay, now we got to start looking because now we're start coming to rank hot fire. That's five so far. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? We're gonna have one of these guys pop fire. So he's gonna fire at the half track. Mark him as fired. All right, so it's uh, infantry weaponry against a armored personnel carrier. So you roll normally like you would. Actually, you know what? Let's have both of them fire. Both of them fire a little bit better. Uh, so it's going to be on the eight column. No modifiers. Well, yeah, no, though. No, there's no modifiers. Eight. Never stay. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah, there's no uh I think there is. Yeah, that's not uh fog of war. 
All right, so it's going to be on the eight column. And all right, we rolled a one. Okay, good. On the eight column with no modifiers is a C3. Now, a couple things about uh, how uh, infantry firing at armored personnel carriers after action work. The infantry inside it, if, if you notice, it's got the, you see it real well, but it is a good full cover class uh, vehicle. So that means normally the troops can be in a good, but they can drop into full cover if they're fired at. Not going to do that at this point. Actually, I should have declared it before he rolled the dice, but I didn't. So we're going to assume that it's good cover. So we take a look at what casualty we got, which was a C3 on the dice roll. Now that, that C3, the casualty number, is what we have to roll equal to or less than to suppress the vehicle itself. So seven, okay, so the vehicle is not suppressed. However, we also use that same casualty roll minus the cover state of the vehicle for what happens to the passengers. So we got a C3 and it's a good cover. So that's a plus two or minus, minus two, plus two, plus two modifier. Minus the, oh no, plus one modifier, which will bring it, which changes the initial dice roll of one to a two, which is actually still a C3 casualty. Uh oh, wow. So, didn't suppress the vehicle. However, the, the, the rifle fire from the Arabs did inflict a C3 on these guys. So, let's go ahead and flip him for one point of damage. Oh, it's not letting me flip that one. Yeah. I'm gonna, yep, definitely gonna have to talk to Scott about that. That uh, that should be bringing up a drop down. Yeah, it's got the visibility. Oh, here's oh, here it is, way down here. Oops, I'm not fired. Wonder why that is. Take the fire off of it, and then two casualties on this guy. We'll flip them. Okay, uh, motivation text tests. Uh, the leader is going to be a six minus two for casualties taken. Six, five, four, six. He's going to break. Broken the crew or the squad is a six minus two for casualties taken. The four as well. And he breaks as well. All right, well, that kind of ends that assault real quick. <laughs> so, but that did get them to fire. Awesome. Oops. All right, so that was five movement points. I think I'm going to stop them now. Six. Go ahead and stop him there. Okay, so next one. Okay, now, the good thing is that that doesn't leave very many people. Like, they basically, that squad's in or back right there. Since these guys are in full cover, they can only see one hex away. So, this is the only other stack that I really have to work. We don't have line of sight. The RPGs could fire from inside the building. But... Two, three, four, five. If I'm... I got to get in there. Got to get in. Six, seven. Of course, these guys are going to go ahead and fire now. Uh, so it's going to be on the eight column. Uh, with scrub doesn't provide any cover benefits. Scrub, yeah, no cover benefits. So it's going to be on the eight column as well because we're going to fire with both of them. Oh, we got one again. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so <clears throat> that's a C3 result. So to suppress the vehicle, be a three or less. So one, really? Really diced rolls. 
Really dice roll. All right, so that's going to suppress the half track. Oops, come on. So that is going to suppress the half track. Oh, that's uh, I don't know. I think I, I think I want to put the suppressed marker on. More uh, visible. Combat. Suppressed. General. I think it'd be on combat. Lateral grazing grenades. Or on. Really? No suppressed markers. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to go with the default vassal marker then. Suppressed. All right. Uh, now we got, uh, again, it's uh, three casualties, even with the good cover. So. Uh, oh. Oops. All right, so I have to do it the same way. Let's go ahead. One casualty on him. Combat. Flip him. And two other on these guys. We'll flip them. Motivation is going to be a six. No morale support range for anything. Five, four for the casualties taken. He's good. Here's going to be six. Uh, now that's an officer, so he's going to get plus two from the officer. The eight minus two for the casualties taken is going to be six, and he's good. All right, so those guys, even though the vehicle got suppressed and they got lit up like a bitch, they're good. But the thing is, unless I move within one hex of these guys, pretty much don't have to worry about any more fire from the from the Egyptian forces. So, and we don't want to move into that dummy one. One, two, five, six, seven. Oh, these guys can actually still fire. But I didn't turn because it could only be at the front arc. Crap. Didn't have the move to turn them. These guys. Six. Let's go ahead and swing them. Let's rotate him. Oh, come on. Oh, it helps if I actually have the stack selected. Okay. So now they can fire because they're pointing toward the bow and anti-aircraft and it's assault moving. Now the thing is, since I kept the unit in the half track in good cover, I didn't drop them into full cover, they can actually fire out at half firepower. <clears throat> but they're also assault moving, so it's going to be halved again. So six will be down to a two, will down be down to a one, and the half track itself gives two. So it's going to be a three firepower. And it's going to be, okay, so it's going to be on the three column, which is the two column, and plus three for the terrain. Basically, I need a one, eight, nothing. All right, so those guys moved and fired. These two vehicles, I think, are going to go cross-country because I need the movement to get them up there. 14 hexes, okay. One, two, three, five, six. Seven to turn them. Eight, nine. Them right in there. Ten. And again, they're going to go ahead and fire. Oh, I should have. You guys have. They did have. Oh, no, that's a hero. Oh, no, that's a leader. Yeah, that's a leader. Leader, hero. The Israelis work a little bit differently. 
because yeah can't remember if their heroes and I think their leaders have the same have a two firepower yeah so those are all leaders not just heroes that are leaders so he should have gotten a modifier but it wasn't all right so these guys are going to go ahead and do the same thing oh no they cross country so they can't Sorry. so don't have to worry about that these guys are going to go cross country as well two three five six seven eight two three. Mm. should i push it should i push it now these could be dummy mines i could try to run through ah, you know what eight Nine. Let's just go ahead right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave them there. And yeah, they'll no, they can't <laughs> cross country, so they can't assault fire. <sighs> okay, now switching over to the Israeli turn or the Egyptian turn. This is where now I could take these guys. Assault, move them out here. Fire on the half track. And I don't have to worry about any defensive fire in return. They're broken. Although I suppose the half track itself isn't suppressed. He could fire a two point machine gun fire. What else we got? These guys are fired. They can't. These guys are suppressed and they can't. Although, nope, I'll, you know, I'll, you know that, that light machine gun, they haven't fired yet. The crew and the machine gun could fire out at half firepower and halved again. So it'll be nine, half to four, half to two, versus an assault move would be two minus. Ooh. No, no, you know what? These guys are pointed the wrong direction. Well, those guys are pointed the right direction. Yeah, all right, yeah. So I was thinking I could sneak out here, pop off a shot with the RPG at that vehicle. Actually, those two guys can't because they cross country. So basically the only unit that could potentially shoot at them is that. It'd be on the two column plus, actually it'd be minus one, the assault moving in the open. Uh, two at a minus one. Yeah, that's a fifty-fifty chance of doing something. Yeah, no, they're gonna. They're, the, the Egyptians are just gonna stay. We need to save those RPGs for for the tanks. All right, so that is going to be it for. I think. I don't think the Israelis have anything more to do. The Egyptians have already moved him. They're not moving them. They can't move them. They don't want to move them. They moved them already. They fired with them. Yeah, so that's going to be it for the uh, for the action phase. Uh, now to infiltration. And okay, this is actually probably going to be Let's see. So, I think, let me go ahead and take a break and <laughs> just to make sure I'm going to be doing infiltration. Okay, just had to clear up and uh, clean up a few things on my understanding of infiltration real quick. Uh, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and see who wins the initiative for infiltration. I'll get into what I was checking on. Again, red for attacker, black for defender. Uh, oh, okay, so the Egyptians get to go first. Now, what I was thinking is during the infiltration phase, uh, you could throw grenades. You can infiltrate or throw grenades, uh, but you can't throw grenades if you fire it. So since both of these Egyptian stacks fired, they can't throw grenades. So I was thinking maybe if I can infiltrate close assault into there, but I don't know if I want to actually leave the protection of, because we got some pretty good protection with these buildings right here. So I don't know if I'm going to be infiltrating with them. So the Egyptians 
are actually going to take this opportunity. He's going to infiltrate there. <laughs> Can't infiltrate with broken units. Yeah, I think. Nah, he's going to go ahead and infiltrate there just because. Plus, that'll come well, out. He's got to get one more hex before I think I can start bringing that machine gun to bear. Anyways, uh, okay, so the, yeah. How many did, who did I infiltrate? That was the only one I infiltrated. So, flip slits back over to the Israelis. Um, broken units obviously can't infiltrate, so they can't. Those guys, since they fired, they can infiltrate. Let's go ahead. Get that counter pointed the right way. And I'm just going to take that fired marker off for now. Uh, they're going to infiltrate out of that half track. Um, back over to the Egyptians. Yeah, I don't, you know, part of me wants to infiltrate, but if I leave, if both of those guys leave that hex, move into this hex. Wipe them out. They're just going to be caught in the open, and those Israelis are just going to gun them down. So the Egyptians are going to pass on infiltration. Uh, the vehicle is suppressed, but the units inside are not. So they are going to infiltrate out. Uh, back to the Egyptians. Egyptians pass. You seeing a pattern to what I'm doing here, boys and girls? Now, I will admit, I'm probably going to take horrendous losses next turn, being at point blank range outside of the half tracks, right at, under the guns of those Egyptians. But hopefully, they're not going to have. I'm not going to, I will have, hopefully I will be able to have more troops left over than they can kill before I can get in there. Uh, although, you know, in hindsight, it probably would have been better to do a combined assault with the tanks softening up the position first. But, yeah. If I was a clever man, I'd have thought of that. But we know I am not a clever man. And actually, that's it for infiltration. These guys can infiltrate, but why? Well, it gets them a little bit closer. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take these guys off the hill. Oops. And... Infiltrate all them there like that. Vehicles can't infiltrate. That's pretty much it. Now we have, uh, that's it for infiltration. We have end of turn. Okay, end of turn. Very begin. One. And, uh, Assault. Uh, remove melee over on ceasefire markers. Remove movement arrows, flares, yada yada. Check for intimidation. Check whether or not check decide whether or not to remove arrow movement arrows. I haven't been putting the movement arrows behind. Not doing continued movement with them. Flip smoker markers. Flip FFE. And then attempt to rally. All right. So let's go ahead and close. Hey, look at that. And that. And we've all moved. Although, for some reason, not removing the move marker on him. Oh, well. So, for some reason, it's the it's issues with the Israeli leaders. And, oh, I don't know. Mark move, or even mark and move them again. We'll remove it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so rally phases. So let's just go ahead and start 
because it really doesn't matter which way we do it. So let's go ahead and start here. Uh, go for the leader first. It's going to be a six, and they will get a morale support radius from the from the squad in the hex next to them. So that's going to be a seven, and the other guy is a full strength. Yeah, he's not a full strength squad anymore, so he's going to be a seven, uh, which makes it so he is no longer broken. So it's going to be six. Uh, seven for the NCO and eight for the morale support from the squad. He makes it so both of them not broke. Got that. We got the suppressed vehicle right now. Vehicles all across the board have a morale of eight, and I don't think they're affected by morale support range because of the vehicles so 10 vehicles can't battle harden or battle harden i'd say so they can't create heroes uh nothing there nothing there let's see so nothing there for the egyptians we got these guys right here we got the leader it's going to be a six and the crew is going to be a seven no morale support range so leader first at a six he's fine so the crew is going to be a seven plus plus one for the leader support range is an eight. Yep, so that was good. Broken markers for them. And that's bad because now that machine gun is back in commission. So that medium machine gun could get a chance to knock out that uh, that half track at range, but I think the only other motivation we have is over here. Now the problem is these guys are surrendered, and they're not stacked with a good order leader, so they are eliminated. They are kaputski. So go ahead. Take the casualty marker off. Pip them. Bad. Good. Broken. Uh, flip him back over to his normal side. Let's see why I'm doing this here in a second. But, all right, since these guys are eliminated. Just going to go ahead and pull them off to the side. We have them. That's our that's our dead pile. <laughs> okay, and nothing. No, that's it. I believe. I believe that's it for. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, that's it for. Uh, for. Uh... Yeah, that's it for the turn. <laughs> So I think we're going to call it here at the end of turn two. Things are not going as the Israeli plan had, had expected it to. Uh, on hindsight, the Egyptians probably should have set up in full cover pretty much everywhere uh, just so they could survive long-range shots from the tanks and the mortar a little bit better. Uh, and I'm surprised how well this 100 millimeter is doing against the Germans so far. Uh, I may have to break down and fire the wire-guided at it we're gonna to have to check the rules on that see how that works so hopefully next turn you know those two guys will be able to knock out that hundred millimeter because on turn three the egyptian armor comes on we got two three t-34s and meshi 100 come rolling on and they these two shermans have got to knock that anti-tank gun out if they won't have a real even chance at living if not if these two shermans get knocked out then these Shermans are going to have to probably sweep down this way and go into tank mode rather than helping the infantry clear because I think the infantry is probably going to have a... It's going to be interesting getting into the fur ball over here with, uh, with the Egyptian defenders. Uh, that's all I got. Kind of long, but you know what? If you enjoy the game, you enjoy me, my dissertation, and my, my bloviating, my rambling, probably stuck through the end. What else have I got? Don't forget to join the original Grognard on Facebook at the original Grognard. 
Uh, what else have I got? That's all I got, really, pretty much. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comment section. I'll see everybody next time. See ya.